Hello and welcome to uh, AQA GCSC Physics Revision video. Um, today we'll be going through the first part of P1, uh, Energy Transfer, and it will be the first lesson, which is Heat Transfer Through Infrared Radiation. So before we move, get on, um, this lesson will be split into two questions. The first one is relating to this. What is this all about? Like. Do, do animals like naturally give off rainbow light? Um, well, obviously no. You may have seen one of these maybe in like a wildlife documentary. Maybe when they're at night and they want to... Maybe in, uh, in the African savanna and they want to look at the animals at night and track them down. Maybe, maybe not. But basically what this actually shows... This is called a thermogram by the way. And it shows infrared radiation. So it takes infrared radiation, <coughs> so the camera reads it and turns it into colours for you to read. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Bit ill at the moment, but um, basically, so you may be asking, what's infrared radiation? Well, infrared radiation is part of a spectrum of electromagnetic waves. And as you go down, um, they get shorter and shorter. This is a really terrible example, a terrible diagram, by the way. Sorry. Uh, you can look electromagnetic spectrum up on the internet if you like. <laughs> well, you get like uh, you would get radio waves at the top, and then like gamma rays and ultraviolet and X rays at the bot at the shortest ones, wavelengths. But around the middle, where visible light is, um, right next to it, uh, between um, uh, microwaves and uh, visible light, you will see infrared radiation. So you need to know it's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. That's what the example wants you to know. So let's type that up. Infrared is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And as you may have guessed, it is uh, given off by anything that, uh, by everything basically. Uh, the, hot, the hotter, the warmer an object is, the more infrared radiation it will give out. So, uh, infrared, infrared radiation. Oh god, I can't type today. Trans. Transfers heat, <laughs> and then so an elephant, as we know, is a mammal, and all mammals are warm-blooded, so it gives off a lot of heat, and we can see that through the infrared which it is giving off. Uh, <laughs> so next, we would have. Um, <coughs> We need to know that, so we've got everything gives off infrared radiation, but that doesn't sound too scientific. For example, one of the key words is emits. Uh, emits basically means given off, basically, but it's just fancier and it's part of the keyword, so you should learn it. Everything emits, emits infra infrared radiation. And that's important because without infrared radiation the earth would be really cold because well the sun um, needs to be able to give up infrared radiation to warm the planet up um, so this is where it goes on to my next point uh, if we add a new layer Put it down here, and for this layer, we draw it, make it look really dark blue. Perhaps, nah, let's do it black or oh, darkish black. I have color to choose some problems, guys. I'm sorry. Um, let me update. So here we have uh, space, and then here we have the Earth. And and then here we have, as you may have guessed, 
the massive sun. Obviously the distance between it is not to scale. <laughs> Otherwise if it was we'd be dead. We'd be like melted away. But so we have the sun here and earth here. So we know that space is a vacuum. What a vacuum is is um it's when you have nothing like um, a vacuum has no particles inside it. So, space is empty and there's nothing between the sun and earth apart from some maybe asteroids and meteorites, but barely anything. So, where this is going is we're trying to say that infrared radiation represented by the red here can travel through a vacuum. It doesn't need any particles or anything. You can travel through space, which is why the sun can warm us up. Uh, so it would go towards Earth and warm it up. Direction of energy travel of the I R. Now, <laughs> but we also need to know what, how, what well, the next part of this is how. Well, the next que question would be, and we're moving on now, moving to where surfaces react with radiation. Uh, if you need, oh, sorry about that. Um, I guess I can type more of that up. Uh, everything emits infrared radiation, and IR radiation can. I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? Um, IR radiation can travel through a vacuum. Um, and if you need, we can draw a diagram for the elephant. Just for some of you. So, um, maybe that elephant will be giving off infrared radiation. And then the camera would take that, and different parts would give off like uh, different um, intensities of infrared radiation, and we can form an image by that, and we can form uh, um, what it's called a thermogram, as I've said. And these are really useful because we can look at how um, how energy efficient the house is. But we'll go through that in a uh, couple of lessons or so. Um, then we we'll transfer that into visible light. Um, so, let's move on now. The way surfaces react with radiation. Um, there are two types of surfaces which the example would want you to know about. We have the shiny light surfaces and the dull and matte surfaces. Matte means not shiny, shiny means shiny. I think everyone knows what a shiny means. Um, let's do a different colour. So, uh, well, what is it about light surfaces? Well, light and shiny surfaces, they are great reflectors. Reflectors of light. Great reflectors of light. Great reflectors of light, and sorry about that. <laughs> I've heard some. Um, they're great reflectors of light. Um, which basically means they, they won't absorb it as easily. So, uh, so won't bad absorbers, which is why many things in the summer, or uh, say a house in, say somewhere in the Middle East, um, or maybe like in the desert or something, um, it wouldn't be dark coloured. It'll be light coloured because it keeps the house cool. Because it reflects all the, uh, ref oh, uh, that's not meant to be light. That's meant to be. IR radiation, sorry about that guys. They're great reflectors of IR radiation, so it reflects all the heat or the infrared away from it so it won't warm up and it's bad absorber as well and it doesn't emit as also it doesn't emit IR as easily as well. So it keeps it just it's a really stable one. It doesn't absorb, doesn't it's kind of neutral-ish, so it reflects loads of IR. That's the main point. 
So next we are going to move on to the dark matte ones and the, the example has a special emphasis on this one it needs you to know about this one more but um, basically it's just the same thing um, they're great absorbers of heat of infrared great absorbers of IR <laughs> and they are bad reflectors obviously because they are they absorb it, they don't reflect it and then they uh, great emitters as well so when it warms up it will give off heat easily um, so which is why like um, some people don't say won't we tell you like don't wear dark clothing or matte clothing in the summer or just dark dark clothing in the summer because you heat up easily but I guess you can also say you it would you would lose the heat quicker as well but depends on where, what you like do you like to heat up more or do you like to cool down quicker but anyway that is it for this part um if you have any questions on the pr anything as of now be, be sure to ask me um I'll be happy to reply in the comments sections below but next we're just going to go through another example <coughs> um so here we have a potato a really badly drawn potato I guess and it's got foil around it. I don't know why we've lost the potato colouring. Hmm. But um Yeah, and that's meant to foil as well. Um so why do we keep things in foil or use foil for cooking or keeping something warm? Well, it's because foil is shiny and light and it's shiny, that's the main point. Um so when we have an infrared radiation, we can go, we can draw this diagram. Okay, the potato is warm; it gives off infrared radiation. But because shiny surfaces re reflect IR well, it re get reflected back back into the potato, and it keeps it warmer, or uh, won't lose heat as quickly, because some of it will get through or precipitate this through and then that's how that's why we use foil because um we need to remember that um <laughs> infrared radiation carries heat obviously but um nothing not everything like even if it's shiny some uh some materials will keep the um you can't have something that can't lose heat because that's how uh one of the laws of thermodynamics works um everything needs to go from orderly thing to unorderly but that's a really different thing than other topic you just need to know that you, you can't keep something heated forever but that's just a side thing um <laughs> anyway i think that's it for this uh we can have Look at the keywords if you want. Infrared radiation. Um, basically, it's uh, a part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and it's, uh, and it transfers heat, and it can travel through a vacuum. And also, uh, the hotter an object is, the more IR it emits, and everything emits IR. Emits basically means gives off. Absorber is something that absorbs. IR radiation, emitter, something that emits IR radiation, reflector, something that reflects IR radiation. If you don't understand anything I've said, then you can ask me in the comment section below once again, as I am happy to answer them. Okay, uh, I think that's it for this uh, video, a uh, revision gut video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, and I'll see you later.